Okay, okay, today we're gonna do an unboxing video and at the same time it can also be a review and also sharing on this digital control. So this DC from Shimano. A lot of people think that DC is like uh, there's a battery and and uh, it will it will control the casting but actually the 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 gist to it is not like this lah oh so today this video is just to uh clarify uh, show you and explain some of my understanding of digital control and after like so many years of using digital control and at the same time we are going to review the 2021 Antares DC yay okay anyway i'm not a big DC fan okay I'm not a big DC fan I, I have to explain that first because uh, I feel that DC has a limitation in terms of casting distance but when will I use DC okay so I ever have a trip at Port Dixon Malaysia when we were casting for queen fish in the sea in the boat and the wind were really really strong everyone were having difficulty casting but my Metanium DC did the job Cast well, no bihun, uh, no backlash, all these things. It was it was amazing. Okay, then uh, I didn't went to the Antares DC in like two zero one nine or two zero one eight. The reason is because I feel that it was really really too big. If you ever seen the Metanium DC, the Metanium DC is really light and small. It's a little bit different. Okay, then there was once I was at a Shimano exhibition at this uh fishing paradise at Otto. I tried the Conquest DC. So this is the Conquest DC. Okay, anyway the handle is the aftermarket handle lah. I just mod the handle. I just like this handle really really a lot. I don't like the original handle for the Conquest DC because it's really short. Okay. Okay, so so I can tell you that these DC rails they are the like top notch DC rails, meaning that they are really really expensive, okay? And because they're expensive, I will say that they're crank, everything is really smooth. Um, the good thing about this uh, DC Conquest, right? Difference, I re I, I realize like, the difference is there's a clicker. Okay, so there's a drag clicker on this. But I saw on some YouTube videos, they say that the Antares DC doesn't have this drag clicker. So I'm not too sure what is what, okay? So today we're gonna unbox this anyway. I just got this from Japan. I have a left hand coming. So if you want to buy my left hand, let me know. But I'm not gonna sell my right hand yet until I use it. Okay, don't waste time, let's go. Okay, I'm not gonna show you what's in the box, la. It's really boring, la. You know, anyway, what is in the box is really not important. Is is what is the real all about. Okay, so as usual, all the Antares, right, has this bag. I think the Conquest DC did give me this bag and the old Antares non DC model also gave me a bag. Whoa! Okay, I realized that there's many videos uh, that they don't really show you how the DC look like. So I want to make sure uh, my video show you how the DC look like. Like like really really how it look like, okay? So I'm going to you see I, I purposely have this camera. If y'all remember this camera, this is a product showcase camera. You will zoom on the product so nicely. Okay, again, uh, I will say that you see the way it sits. Uh, it's considered low. Uh, and I think this ergonomics over here is pretty nice. Because it allows it to bring it down. Unlike the old uh, Antares DC, it was really bad. The old Antares DC was really fat over here. And you see this area, it has been sent down quite a bit. Okay. So you when you hold it right, when you hold it, it's it's really actually it's not it's not big you see. If you realize my my fingers really grip the whole rail, it's not big. Okay, what I I know is in this design right, the spool has been narrowed down to give a better cast. But um, I don't know. You see, even in the in the DC over here, I think you, this is even narrower lah. Yeah, and uh. I know the set thing. Okay, let's say... Oh, so there's no drag sound. I'm sorry, there's no drag sound. So, this may be like a minus factor for some people. Uh. To me, I'm used to no, don't have drag sound because I'm really like a big cast guy. I don't use spinning at all. And again, uh, 
the the Calcutta DC has this uh cast control knob whereby you can turn. But the Antares DC uh, doesn't have a screw here. Let me try to turn it. <laughs> I don't think it, I don't think can turn one ah. Yeah, you see, there's no screw. It looks like it can right, but actually it cannot. I already tried it. Maybe it can be opened up to take out a bearing or something because I read the Japanese review uh, and I realized that uh, to take out the spool you have to like unscrew this DC system out. It's not so easy like your other reels. You gotta unscrew the DC system out. Then you gotta take it out and then there is no bearings on the spool itself. The bearings are all on the left and right side. Okay. Uh, so there's this very interesting sticker that I normally don't see. On Shimano rails. I don't know what it represents. Anyway, maybe it represents the DC system. I don't know. If it's RRWO, maybe there's a code to it. I better don't read it out. Okay, anyway, I'm not too sure. Lah. Yeah. And uh, that's it. Actually, nothing much because I cannot take out the spool. I cannot show you anything. Uh, if you ask me about the chrome, I will say that it's, it's really chrome, chrome, chrome. Lah. But this chrome ah, feels a little. I don't know eh, you know the, the Antares that without the DC model right, the 20219 or 2020, that one, the chrome feels a little bit plastic feeling which I don't really like because it feels, the, it's just a personal thing because when I use it right, it feels like it's an expensive feel, yet it's light but it's a little bit plastic. Uh, let's see what's the weight difference. <laughs> From my grip of it ah, uh, it feels like this is a little lighter. Just a little bit lighter, I guess. But anyway, I'm I'm still a low profile guy lah. I don't really like like high profile reel, so I haven't used this reel a lot of times, maybe one or twice. But okay, so why did I use DC? Okay, which I already told you that I'm not a fan, right? Okay, I like to put very light lines on DC, like PE one, PE one point five, and cast, uh, cast with long rods like those seven plus feet, eight feet rod. Because I realized that if you want to use light lines and you don't want a backslash or you don't want your line to snap in the air due to the, the weight momentum and all these things, DC is the best. Ah. It doesn't it doesn't backlash, it gives you a reasonable distance. Um okay, why do I say reasonable distance? Because actually if I use my metanium uh, normal metanium, the new metanium, uh, or any other rails, uh, as long as it's not DC, I put zero brakes and I try to control as much as I can. If I can do a perfect cast, uh, the distance is actually much further than the DC. So for DC, right, the distance is is shorter, but I get consistency. So this is why I use DC rails for those very very long distance casting of lighter lures. Definitely for heavy lures like one ounce. No, 1.5 ounce, 30 gram, 28 gram, 25 gram. I will don't use DC, okay? I will use my normal uh, big caster metanium with, with like no bricks and all these things. So when I use DC, I, I try to use like 14 gram, 10 gram, and then I try to use light lines. Um, I use 21 gram jig here, and I try to use like P1, P1.5, so it doesn't snap in the air. So this is why I use DC. Like. Anyway, this is just a personal opinion. It's not like you have to use DC this way, okay? So if you don't agree, it's okay. So anyway, um, we will do a video to try out this reel. I think it's really beautiful. Let's give you one more look of it, okay? Because I know that you come to this video just to see the DC and not watch me talk, right? Okay? Anyway, the, the DC system here, there's a minimum to max. La. There's a few settings. If you open it up, as usual, um, there is this uh, FS thing. La. I don't know if you you know this thing. Okay, wait, wait. It's trying to focus. Okay, yeah. This is a... Uh, depend on the line. I think there's a... Uh, one is a win, a nylon, a PE line, la, all these things. Okay, so we got to... I already put it to PE. La. I will read again, see whether is it different. Because uh, I think it's more or less the same. Because on the... Conquest, you also have this, just that it's not minimum and max, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then if we open it up, okay, the Conquest is a bit, oh my god, oh, this magnet is so irritating. Okay, same thing, ah, the spool also cannot take out, you see? So you gotta screw this part out, so. Then, uh, but this one doesn't have the X function, this one only have F, N, and P, E line. So P, E line is the one that gives the least breaks, lah, which will give you the most distance, I mean, by right, nylon is supposed to be like the normal mono line and fluorocarbon is a harder line but if you really play with the settings, you will know that PE will give you the furthest casting distance. Okay, this one is a little bit different. This one, we have a, another one that is X. Okay, X. 
I'm gonna find out why there is this X. Hopefully the manual here writes. Okay, anyway, this is 220 grams. Like, I think it's definitely lighter than the Conquest DC. I remember the Conquest DC is not so light. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me clarify. So, X is not win. La. X is extreme long cast mode. Wow. So the Calcutta doesn't have this extreme long cast mode. Eh. So I think my next video, right, is we will do a video, right, for the extreme long cast mode. See whether is it really extreme long cast. I'm going to put the same line because since the DC is already with 1.5, right, P1.5, I'm going to put P1.5 on this Antares. I'm going to see whether the extreme long cast really, 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 really make a difference, okay? So stay tuned for my next episode. Hit the like button, subscribe button. I'll see you in the next episode. And again... Before you go, take a look at the DC again. Whoa! I think it's the ergonomics. See the ergonomics of this part. Oh, so so nice. And before you go, take a look at my QT Calcutta 100 DC. And bye bye. Remember to hit the like button, subscribe button, and bye bye.